So for our first adventure today, we have come here to what is called the Crick Tramway Village. So we are here in a Tramways Village and as you can see it looks quite cool. Now later on we're going to be able to get the tram and we can go right up into the, there's a mine or something. So we're going to go up there and have a look and we'll see if we can maybe get the drone up there. But this looks pretty cool doesn't it? There comes the tram, look at that. exhibition hall and see what's in here ah oh, look at this this is pretty cool isn't it look at these 1860s wow this is how the trams have changed oh yeah you got yeah 1870s 1880s 1890s <laughs> so cool. so there's one here that we can go in Go on to the old tram. A bit like a mixture of the old London Underground trains and buses, aren't they? I don't know if we're allowed in this bit here. No, we're not, it's locked. But that's be where the driver would have sat. Didn't have a lot of room, did he? No sat nav or nothing. Do you know how you find our way around? The seats are in great condition, aren't they? Look at them seats, amazing. Nice, uh, nice patterned, aren't they? And here's another little bit for the driver this side as well. It's not very comfy in there, does it? Don't know how far they had to go. Yeah. I'm sure these TV screens weren't available in the 1930s, but anyway. Or maybe that was their sat nav, that's what they used, perhaps. So now we're back out here again and we can actually see some real live ones that are actually going to be a sort of thing we'll probably be able to get on a bit later. And this is an actual live one that goes. Yes, yeah, so that's got a real London Underground feel. So this one looks like the Bakerloo line, doesn't it? If you recognise the colouring scheme, very similar. So that's not quite interesting here. Not quite sure what it is actually. But uh, that's not quite cool, isn't it? Maybe it's an old engine. That's actually what it is. Very nice. Well used, shall we say. I think that's a good way to describe it. You've got all the tram lines as they were. The electric tramways in Britain. That was London's there back in the day. All the way out to South End, look. I mean, it's basically the same sort of area of London Underground now, isn't it? Pretty much. All the way up to Newcastle, I'd say, it? Gosforth Park. Forest Hall, look. That's where we live. And they used to have a tram there. Of course, it's now just a metro, basically, isn't it, if you look at all them. Looks like we found um, where Eddie Grant got his inspiration from for his song, look. He must have come here and thought, oh, you know what, that'd be a good name for a song, that. So look at this old phone box. It's actually quite amazing, isn't it? Look at it. They're keeping the uh, like old-fashioned um, theme because they've actually called the toilets, ladies and gentlemen, which won't be happening much longer, will it? Because that will soon be phased out. But yeah, what, what a great old telephone box that is. It's like one of them open-top buses, isn't it, that you have in London? Only it's actually slightly more cooler because it's actually a tram. Well... This is going to be fun, isn't it? So we're right at the top now, look. Get a view all over the place. Ding, ding. Oh, we're about to start Come on. on our journey. Here we go, Yay. we're off. We're on the tram. This is going to be quite good fun. <laughs>
So we're going to take a little walk up to the monument now. We've reached the end of the line. And it's all the way up this path here. So let's enjoy the walk up to the monument. So there's the monument just there. So we've just got to walk around this track. We can get up there. And then we will get a magnificent view. Look at that view there. The Peak District, Derbyshire. So we've reached the sign to tell us that we're here. Just got to go up that little track and it should take us to the top. We'll be there soon, but you definitely don't want to miss it. So stay with us because it's going to be worth the wait. I did tell you it'd be quite special. There it is. There is the monument we've got there. abandoned us but the trams actually come back to get us look we've been stuck out here for two hours so what we're going to do is we've decided to get off the tram and we're going to go on at the woodland walk which you can see is here so we'll go over this bridge and then look oh big scary troll there's a wizard sitting on a chair there all right mate a little treasure chest with some treasure in it look at that Looks like a crown, some coins. The magic of magic, it says. History of spells. It's like Harry Potter land, isn't it? And then the sword in the stone. Look at that. Wow. I'm not quite sure what this, this is here. Maybe it was a very early goalpost. I don't know. Here we go. It's the Dermot Valley Mills World Heritage Site. Now this looks pretty good, doesn't it? It's like a little maze, and there's like a pole in the middle. So we're going to see if we can find our way through this maze to get into the centre. And I think we're going to get there. We've made it. We've made it into the middle where the big tree is. Look at that big tree, curly tree. So what's this dude here? See, I think he might be a wise old owl, but I'm not sure. Now these are all very Blair Witch Project, aren't they? Look at them. Look at that one there. Scary. And that's uh, that was where we got on the tram originally. And there's these little sheds there with all the old trams in that we saw at the beginning. And we've come all the way along. And we're back to where we started from, and now up there is that monument we went to with a drone. So this has been our little trip to Critch Tramway Village. It's a good few hours spent in there, on the trams, walking around. Went up to the monument, got the drone up, got some great footage there, and that's it. So a nice little day out here, which we really enjoyed. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please subscribe to the channel because there'll be a lot more stuff like this, a lot more drone stuff, a lot more days out, to, uh, vlogs and loads more great scenery from the Peak District all be coming up in the next few days and some more grassroots football journeys as well. So join us for all of that and we will see you on the next one.